I have a very funny story to tell you. I was at my dermatologist today. She was with her girlfriend, and they came to the conclusion that they both wanted to have a menage. This came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And, and she asked me, do I know anybody? I said, yeah, but it'll cost you a thousand bucks. I was thinking of you. Me? You need the money, and I'm closing shop. I am not a beautiful man. Is Mick Jagger a beautiful man? You're an experienced lover. Why shouldn't you get paid for it? Of course, I saw myself getting a small fee. If you're a pimp, you gotta have a name. I'll be Dan Bungle. It's nice to meet you, Dan. Maybe I should try your guy out first, alone. Just me and him. You do this often? No, I mean... So this is kind of a part-time thing? You, you could say that. She tipped you? Mm-hmm. You know, waitresses pool their tips and uh, they split them. We got another customer, maybe more. How? Yeah, how word of mouth. Hey, God bless you, girls. Is he tall? Yeah. I really think that I should try him. I like it rough. Sometimes I even like to be the man to strap on my car. Is he Jewish? Jewish? Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is what you do? You bring magic to the lonely? That's one way to put it. He's shy, so I handle a He's dialogue. He's shy. He doesn't look shy. You are flirting with me. No. Yes. Everybody needs contact. They need love. They need affection. You do remember that a threesome is uh, two, 2,000 bucks. These are vulnerable people. Think of it as a performance. They want you to play act anyhow. Let's do the menage. Go bongo. <laughs> Dad bongo. She's so soft like a tough animal. I can wait to see you again. Then he tells me you're a glamour. Very nice day's work, let me tell you. Have you ever done it, menage a trois? 1977, during the blackout. Nobody could see anything, but uh, it was still very pleasant. Calor. <laughs>